Okay, everyone, we're going today to make something that you've probably seen before, and that is the iPod advertisements. These fun iPod advertisements have silhouettes, and so today we're going to make one out of you. All right, so we're going to use uh, Photoshop to do that. Now, I'll show you a sample here. This is where I started from. Here's a picture of me, and then we're going to finish off with that. Okay, so we take Photoshop, and in Photoshop we're going to make a uh, bring up a photo. So I'll bring up the photo of me here. All right, we want you to have that open. Go ahead and duplicate your layers. Now I'm going to bring our layers over here so we can see our layers. Okay, so my layer here. I'm going to duplicate my layer. So you've got two. Now the top one, we're going to hit Command L. Command L is for levels. And we're going to run these sliders, the black one towards the right, and the right one towards the left. And you can totally make a silhouette out of the photo of you. Okay. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to use the background copy, double click on the lock, which unlocks it bring it on top, and we're going to do the same thing, Command L, and bring that towards the, the left here so we can get the iPod looking good. We don't worry about our photo at all, we just want to get that iPod looking pretty good there, and the cord, hit OK. Now what we're going to do is drag the background copy, no, let's just leave it on top, and take our eraser tool, now here's the tools, take our eraser tool and just start erasing you. So how this is working is, is it's erasing the photo of you and showing the photo underneath. So I'm on the top layer here with a bigger brush with your bracket keys. This just erase you very quickly. In this case, me. Okay. I'm going to leave my iPod over there. Now we can redraw the cord in. Make a smaller brush with your bracket keys and just go kind of carefully around the iPod. My thumb there. Try to leave the iPod as best you can. It makes it a lot easier for you. Okay, so we've already got kind of the look we need. All right. Now next, what we're going to do is we're going to flatten our our layers. So go to Layer at the top, Flatten Image, and then take our magic wand and select the background. When you select the background, make yourself a brand new blank layer, and paint in a iPod color. In this case I'm going to use a nice bright green with my paintbrush, big huge bracket, bracket keys, big huge brush, just paint in. So this is painting on, if you look over here on our layers palette, it's just painting on the layers palette. Now don't go over your iPod, go around it, make a smaller brush, okay. Now some areas we couldn't get to, so Take your magic wand and select those areas. I need just right in there. Don't go back to your go go to the correct layer. So make sure your layers pick the right layer here when you're using your magic wand. Hold down shift to grab all the little parts and pieces that may be missing. And then paint those in. Go back to the other layer. Paint those in with green, or the color you want to pick. Make a, a fun apple color. Okay. Great. Now the next thing I want to do is take our paintbrush, hold down, pencil tool, make a new layer, so it's a blank layer, and make make it so you have white on top. So I'm just going to reset my colors here, and have white on top, and I'm going to draw in the iPod cord. Now you need to have a bigger um, line brush here, okay, or pencil. So use your bracket keys, and here's where you have to kind of guess. That's about right. And I can draw this wherever I want. I can bring it over the top of there. I could draw a loop if I want, you know. Go up to one ear, and then just kind of paint a little bit, and 
then just bring up to this ear, and then paint a little bit. Cool. Now I've got a few places I want to kind of fix here. Go back to my green paintbrush. Bring that green color back just by color picker. Just select out here, not even over here, just over here. That grab the right color. Bring your, your photo larger up on the screen here and go in and fix areas with a small brush that need to be fixed in green. Not doing a very good job here, but you can do a better job than I do. Make it nice and quality. There's places that just need to be fixed. Over here. Now, anything that's black that needs to be, okay, we want black in there. We just put black on there and just paint black. Just to do a, do a cleanup. Okay. Over here, we got a little cleanup there, a little cleanup here. Just where my glasses were showing. Okay. And again, a little clean up there, a little clean up here. And then I need to go back to green and do a little clean up here. And I need to draw a little white in. So I can go in and do that. Green there. Green that on top. So you got, oops. Not very good. And black and so forth. So you still will do a little bit of cleanup. And then, of course, white. Um, we'll need to go with white here to, to draw the rest of our iPod in. If you want. And you can, you can do whatever you want to do on that to make it look more correct. So, yeah, that's iPod. Then I'd like you to go to the internet and find the Apple logo. Take it off of one of these. Just take this iPod logo, grab the whole thing off the internet here. Put it onto Photoshop. There it is. Put it onto Photoshop. Okay. And then if I want to just grab that, I just take my magic wand, hold down shift, take all the little parts. And you can retype set if you want. Move tool. Command T. Then when you're all done, you just go to Layer, Flatten Image, and save it as Me iPod Add Desktop, and I got it. Fun stuff. Make your own. Have fun.